You may have heard or inferred that using lightweight for a lot of reps builds a soft bubbly muscle while using heavyweight helps build a dense muscle. Or vice versa, there are endless opinions. But is there any significant difference when both are taken to failure? That's exactly what I decided to find out in this video, training one side of my body with lightweight for many reps and the other side heavy for a small amount of reps. Dense mass versus toned, strength versus hypertrophy, what will happen to my body? This is my one week journey, training one side heavy and the other side light. But you gotta focus. Head is right, tails is left. The Minnesota tails, left. Heads is heavy, tails is light. Looks like left is heavy. Day one, literally just jumping into it, starting with an upper body push-pull day. The first exercise, incline dumbbell press. So because left is heavy and right is light, I decided to try to do this one-two tempo until I would fail on my left, and then continuing pumping out the right side until failure. I tried to choose a weight for the left side where I could only knock out around five reps. For the light side, the right side, I wanted to be able to do at least 20 reps each set. And this turned out to be a lot more difficult than just training one side at a time. Maintaining this weird tempo of like one, two, totally played with my mind motor memory. And I probably looked dumb to bystanders in the gym. And look at my head on the pad. It is totally leaning towards the lighter side. I will be paying for this later. Yeah. Now even with all of the reps on the right side, for this exercise specifically, it felt like I was actually getting a better stimulation doing the heavy weight for less reps. My left side felt more pumped and activated than my right side did. The next exercise doing a single arm lat pull down, only doing one side at a time, starting with the left doing only around 5 reps heavy and then moving to the right, choosing a weight where I could do at least 20 reps. Now this exercise felt like I was getting a better stimulation with the lighter weight. Now I was only doing three sets for these exercises so far, so not your typical five by five for the left side, so keep that in mind, but still a ton of reps for the right side. Moving on to your basic bicep curls, trying to do that one, two tempo, choosing a heavy weight on the left where I could only do about five to eight reps, and then a light weight on the right, at least 20 reps, doing the exact same protocol for triceps with skull crushers, and then finishing off with lateral raises. Whack. How's my pump look? Looks bigger I, on one side. I feel like I actually got more pumped on the left side, and that was like my heavier side. In almost every exercise, except for the pull downs, that side really burned the right, but like, I don't know, for some reason, five reps, I felt like it was enough. I feel like, I don't know. Do, do I look lopsided? Yeah, a little. All right, that's day one, folks. So I woke up this morning and I had a kink on the side of this neck right here, on the right side, um, which is my high rep side. So I'm wondering, maybe I had to do something with doing, trying to do both at the same time and it being uneven. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. Uh, hopefully we didn't do any real damage. It just feels like a muscle kink, but something I was wondering is, would this herbal pain reliever we used from the last challenge to help our knuckles, <laughs> help the neck muscle. Plus, I love the smell of this stuff. It smells like a Christmas store, like I said in the last video. Oh yeah, right there, man. All right, with that being said, we're doing legs today. So I'm gonna do a little work, then we're getting into the workout. Starting with the right side, the light side, doing 20 plus reps. And just to disclose, I actually walked on the treadmill to warm up before this, as well as did a warm up set with 20 reps using both legs. Now I did all three sets of around 20 reps on the right side before moving to the left side. Choosing a weight where I could only do about five reps before a failure, while also maintaining as good of a range of motion as I could, I found lifting the left side heavy was actually way more difficult than I expected, and I ended up doing only three sets before moving on to the next exercise. That's a no-go. So yeah, regular squats, absolutely no. So for the next exercise, doing lunges, weightless for the right, doing around 30 reps for three sets, and then choosing a weight to hold when I did the left side that was heavy enough to take me out around five to eight reps. This was actually very sketchy feeling, but I got it done. 
Speaking of sketchy feeling, moving on to isolations for the legs. It did not feel sketchy doing lightweight for high reps on the leg extension machine for the right side, but when moving to the left side going to a heavier weight for less reps, it felt very sketchy on the knee. I actually had to cut this one short. Now for me, the hamstring curls felt a lot less sketchy than the extensions did regarding the knee, so I was able to get this one done with no issues. Good morning guys, it's day three of this one side light, one side heavy experiment. So my left leg is exceptionally sore compared to my right leg. Yeah, so my heavy side is more sore than my right side, but my right neck is like still a little kinked. Out of all the experiments we've done, this is gonna be the one that just beats me to a crisp. Man, yeah, so I'm actually gonna take today as a rest day, but other than that, just checking in. So, see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys, so my neck is still a little kinked on the right side here and my left leg is still super sore. It's actually more sore than ever today. But regardless, we're gonna still work out today. What I have in mind is we are going to train one entire side today. So either right side doing lots of reps or left side lifting heavy. And how are we gonna choose with our coin? All right, heads right, tails left. Oh gosh. ourselves heads so it looks like we're training reps today on the right side another catch to add on to this day is I was planning on doing the entire workout body weight only starting with one arm push-ups in order to be able to knock out a large amount of reps on the right side I had to use some resistance bands tied around my pull-up bar to allow me to get at least 20 reps of the one-handed push-up Moving on to decline pull-ups, also using the resistance band, only focusing on the right side for at least 20 reps. I actually felt like this was one of the most activating exercises I've done so far. It seemed like for with back movements, doing higher reps really seemed to isolate and stimulate those muscles very well for me. Moving on down through some basic abs, one-sided V-ups, supersetted with side plank, only targeting the right side, three continuous sets. Moving on to assisted Bulgarian split squats, 20 plus reps to an RPE of at least eight. Duh. Oh. And then finishing up with assisted pistol squats, trying to hit high reps, but struggling. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so much more of a pump on this right side. Oh, I feel lopsided. All right. The next day, the goal was to do all of the same exercises, but with no assistance. Because we were about to jump into higher intensity, I decided to throw in this little warm up for my left side. Oh. Oh. Ah, those cracks. But yeah, jumping right into one arm push ups with no assistance was pretty intense. Only doing five reps, I wanted to make it a five by five, so I tried to do five sets, but I failed on the fourth set, only getting four reps, and then four reps again on the fifth set. Moving on to decline pull ups, focusing on the left side, doing another five by five. Now, don't get me wrong, I was really feeling the intensity on the left side, but it didn't feel like I was getting the best muscle stimulation doing these calisthenic movements at such low reps. It felt like it was fatiguing my central nervous system more than anything. And although I look more pumped on the left side, it didn't feel like I had a pump, which was weird. Now trying to isolate the core on the left side doing a similar exercise for the core as the previous day, but this time with heavier resistance, I used a 30 pound dumbbell and did these like side crunches, which didn't really feel like it was isolating so much the core as it was fatiguing my whole entire like nervous system. And now that I'm watching this, it kind of even looks a little strange. And yes, the right side of my neck was still feeling kinked. Oh brother. Instead of using assistance and doing a lot of reps, we are adding weight so that we are only able to do a few reps for the Bulgarian split squats. Starting with the 30 pound dumbbell and then moving up to a 45 pound plate, knocking out only around five to eight reps for three sets. This one actually felt all right. Now I was planning to finish up with a five by five with just regular pistol squats, but upon just doing one, it felt like my legs were already so fatigued from doing the Bulgarian split squats with the weights that I actually had to do assisted pistol squats using less assistance than I used for my right side, but still some assistance so I could knock out a five by five on the left side. 
I feel just like tired on one side and just like like angry on the other side, just like offset. It's like it separates like right here and then it like in and then it, So my right upper body, specifically the bicep, as well as like the rear delt, back, way more sore than my left side is this time around. The only thing different is we primarily did calisthenics the last two days, as opposed to, you know, the first two days where we did weights. So maybe higher reps with calisthenics causes more soreness, stimulation, something like that. At least that's how it went down because yeah, my right arm this time is like so sore. I think it's specifically due to those one arm decline pull-ups, but doing them for, you know, 20 reps. Still feels a little kinked. It's getting better each and every day, so I don't think I've like further kinked it up or like hurt it or anything. I'm just gonna take today as a rest day and then I have an idea for tomorrow. We're gonna send this home tomorrow, okay? So we're gonna try to do full body tomorrow. All right. All right, guys, it's full body time. Let's rock and roll. Left side heavy, right side light. After a quick warm up set for the legs, I jumped into switching between lightweight for 20 reps on the right side and heavyweight for five reps on the left side, back and forth. The unevenness in type of effort was really becoming apparent and it started to feel like each side of my body was being designated towards a specific action, one more intense and the other more endurance. Speaking of intensity for the next exercise, focusing on the left side doing higher box jumps just on one leg, choosing a height where I was only confident enough to knock out 5 reps, and then for the right side lowering the box height and only doing step ups for at least 20 reps. 3 total sets. Moving to upper body doing a dumbbell press, once again a heavy weight on the left side for about 5 to 8 reps, and then the right side choosing a weight once again where I could do around 20 plus reps. The next exercise, dumbbell roll, the exact same idea. Then bicep hammer curls, the exact same idea. And then tricep push downs, the exact same protocol. I'm telling you guys, by this day it was really becoming an uncanny feeling. You know, just not doing the same amount of reps on each side, it's just weird. On top of all of the other energy imbalances I was already feeling from the previous days of this week. Finishing up with three sets of standing kettlebell shoulder presses. Choosing a heavyweight for the left side, this actually felt very sketchy, but luckily I felt like I got away without any pinches or pops, my gosh. Then moving to the right side, at least 20 reps. So did this different type of training on each side of my body, strength versus high reps, actually have some effect on my aesthetics, strength, performance, future workouts, you actually might be surprised just how much this affected me. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the results. What's up, Home Slice? So can one week of training one side heavy and one side light really mess someone up that bad, mess myself up that bad? Did it change my physique? Did I learn something? Well, let's take a look at the after versus before visuals. At first glance, it doesn't look like much is different other than like the lighting for some reason. But if we actually dive in closely, it looks to me like my left side actually is bigger in the after than it was in the before. I don't know, what do you guys think? Now one thing to remember is I already did have imbalances going into this, right? My right side has imbalances, my left side has imbalances. I'm not symmetrical totally. But more importantly, what I realized trying to get back into even training, training both sides with the same amount of weight, the same amount of reps, the same amount of intensity. After this experiment, things were weird for the first couple of workouts. Notice myself like leaning almost towards my left side for the first five reps when it comes to like push-ups and even pull-ups. But then I'm like not even kidding you, around rep five, I'm like starting to come back to the center and go towards my right arm. So I'm gonna have to consciously try to break that so I can even things back out. After this experiment, when it came back to trying to train both sides evenly, I immediately noticed I would go towards my left side at first. Like my nervous system would go activating towards my left side at first subconsciously, like without thinking about it. And then I'm not even kidding, after about five-ish reps, then it would become more even. And it took me about three workouts before I could just go into it again without thinking about it, using both sides 
relatively even. It was not good. It was like I caused an imbalance and then like if I wouldn't think about it, it would probably just get worse and worse and worse. So just because I think lifting the heavy weight made more of an impact, there were some certain instances where I felt like the light weight was much more beneficial. For instance, a lot of things back related. It just felt like the squeeze was a lot better. It felt like I was actually activating my back muscles and I can control the movement a lot better. Also certain isolation movements for the legs, especially when it comes to like leg extension or even hamstring curls. I think using way too heavy weights for those exercises could be potentially dangerous. At least the risk reward ratio in my mind is a little high for what I'm trying to achieve. So I think there's a time and a place for both. So the soft muscle versus dense muscle, I don't know, man. Based on what you guys saw in this experiment, and hey, maybe based on your own experience, let me know what you guys think is better. Lightweight for more reps, heavyweight for less reps. What have you guys noticed? Let me know. Stay tuned. Next week, you guys have requested this one a ton, and I'm doing it. Oh my goodness. Don't forget to subscribe. If you guys are interested in getting in shape with your body weight virtually anywhere, check out Bodyweight Beast 2.0 on OnlyKindsFitness.com. A ton of great feedback on that program. Thank you all so much for that. Hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.